Northwest check, check. Comic. Hey, it's Casey the Okubi with the Northwest Comic, Comic Show. Show. We're here with Jerry Pesh with Pesh Effects, right? That's that's me. Okay, now you have is this blacklight reactive art? No, this is my art on metal. It's oh. it's metal prints that I do all my art on. It's heat sublimated where the ink is melted right on the metals. So you melt ink onto metal. Yeah, it's my style. I like to do a lot of uh, layers in my pieces so that the metal shines through. They're all limited editions. I only do 50 of each piece. They're all signed and numbered. My paper prints, that being said, are all UV coated and they do react under black light. Okay, so you got the metal ones, then we got the paper UV that are re reactive under the black light. Uh, how'd you learn how to do this metal melting stuff? You know what? I've been a rock and roll lighting guy for 20 plus years. I've always done artwork and basically what I've found is when I started coming into the industry, the comic book industry, I wanted to come in with something unique and interesting and I met some people that were doing art on the metal and I, you know, next thing you know, I started doing it, the first ones doing it on the large size because this is as large as they do it right now and it's become my thing. I've been known around, we've done 30 plus shows around the country basically selling my artwork like this and people love the style, they love the way it looks and it's, you know, it's cool. I just put my little flare of lighting on there and any lights will reflect off the metal. It's just fun, people have a good time with it. Okay, what I got is um, rock and roll. So you've been in rock and roll, lighting and everything and that's, that's the inspiration, you know what I mean? That, it's the heart and soul. That and I was a comic book collector for my entire life. I mean, you know, I've read all these characters. I've played these games. I've watched these movies. I mean, it's really, you know, when you have a passion for something, it's real easy to put your spin on it and do your feel for it so people can appreciate it. You see what happens when you geek out, when you're into the pop culture, and then you intertwine rock and roll. Then you get art like this. All right. Well, thank you very much. Oh, it's a pleasure, definitely. Cool.